Hello everyone, my name is Sean Wilburn and I am with the site Lazy Tech Guys and I'm here to review the Logitech Broadcaster. The Logitech Broadcaster is a app it's a combination uh, program applicate is a program application for an iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer camera and included mount uh, mount slash case. So what it is is the Logitech Broadcaster is unique because it is actually specifically designed for Apple platforms. They actually designed it with the iPad, iPhone, and the uh, OS 10 Mac computers in mind. So there's an application called the Broadcaster app that you would download to any of those platforms and after you do so you will actually have access to be able to uh, use this as a separate webcam to give you 720 quality, 720p quality video or even stream directly to Ustream from here right through your Wi-Fi network and well you can go ahead and show the world what you're doing. Now it's a, um, it works extremely well as far as hooking up to the computers. You just kind of install the app and it connects over. It takes a minute to be registered and as soon as it sees it and as soon as it sees it and talks to it and gets on the Wi-Fi network, this thing will connect over and you'll be good to go. Now uh, as far as how this thing is built, let me show you what we have here. You have a power button on the bottom of the machine for turning it on or off. You have a USB connection for charging it. You also have a, a microphone input for the ex for an external microphone. Now it does have an in included microphone on the front, but if you wanted to use like a lavalier or a um, clip-on mic of some sort, you could actually do it that way instead. Um, on this side, you also have a mode button. The mode button will actually switch it between the Ustream mode as well as, as to the record on your device mode. You also have a lamp which turns on the lamp that is on the front and you also have well the camera that goes on the front. Um, you have a little microphone here and most important of all you have the really big button on the top. Now this button right here is actually uh, the record button capture button. The minute this button you press this button and it's enabled it is actually capturing it's recording. Right now this thing is synced to this computer behind me so that's why it says it's solid red. Now if you press if you press the mode button it'll go to the secondary mode which will bring it to Ustream where the cloud will flash. This will start blinking and then when you press that it'll start capturing and you will be up and running and you'll be tr um, recording directly to Ustream. Now the case that it comes with um, is not just a case, it's actually a uh, the, the mount itself. So you open it up inside of here, you just slip the camera inside the case. It goes in one way, so if you get it right, it'll slip right in like so. And you just drop the case on, now you're able to protect your unit. Now if you take, now also, the top, if you notice, has this little round part right there, if you notice that. That's actually an indentation, which is a magnet. The bottom part of the camera is also magnetized, and this, they kind of go together, and when they're together, well, you end up with that. You actually get a little bit of flexibility of what you want to do with it. also allows you to change the angle, get it to just kind of what you want. Um, now the uh, so yeah there you go you also get on the front of it a ba oh yeah on the front of it you get a Wi-Fi indicator show you how good your Wi-Fi strength is right now I'm doing really good and battery life right now I have two bars instead of three so look at me I'm already uh, using it too much um, also the top part separates out and it has a tr camera mount on the bottom that way so you can mount this to another camera mount for a particular use and then use the camera and then still use it in wherever you need to use because this thing is not very tall and it's very limited I mean to get it to particular angles you may even end up having to put books under it or something if people still have books these days I know people have books these days that's okay I'm just joking alright now um, since this it now the setup on the computer like I said is simple and easy you just go ahead and hook it up the broadcaster app is pretty good um, not saying it has a lot of features but the broadcaster app actually adds on the ability to kind of change the resolution of the camera so you can record in widescreen or uh, standard you could also change it from high definition to different standard definition or low def definition that way so you can say bandwidth in or memory on how you're recording um, the but you can do that there and you also can adjust the brightness of the camera now I'll, the big thing here is I actually wanted to 
do the camera the recording this way now I'm actually the camera you're actually I am using right now to record is another Logitech camera it's another 720p webcam that what I picked up that cost about fifty dollars uh, retail I believe and I'm picking up for around 25 30 bucks so I wanted to give a base of, com of comparison so since this broadcaster goes for upwards around two hundred dollars so I figured I know you're paying for the Wi-Fi you're waiting for the wireless capabilities and that all makes sense but I also want to make sure that the camera improves or at least is the same when compared to other products that they make even stuff that costs a third of or even less of the price so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this camera and actually turn this camera on and give you my opinion of what I feel the camera how the camera performs as a camera so let's go ahead and switch now all right now this is the Logitech broadcaster camera full effect so this is a widescreen film, one not right off the bat, right from the original video. I actually like it better because it's got the, uh, the hat showing in the corner, and that's always a good thing to get that hat viewed. The, um... <laughs> now, right off the bat, I noticed that the video looked significantly darker, and I'm pretty sure you noticed that. Now, I haven't changed any of the lighting. I actually have the camera literally sitting about 6 inches to 8 inches off the side to it but there's a light source right behind it there's a light sources in different parts of the room including above me and over here so the lighting is not really any different but you notice how it definitely is darker it also to me felt a little bit more grainier when I used the Logitech the um, the broadcaster when compared to my other webcam and I'm and I'm not sure if that was a combination of the darkness or maybe the um, how dark the video is or whatnot now, one other thing is the Logitech Broadcaster app actually has the ability to add brightness to it. So I use that to add a little brightness to it. And what I notice is that you can get it to equivalent to what was before on the original camera that I saw that we were using, the other Logitech 720 camera. Um, but you'll notice that the, and you can adjust it, but it gets a little washed out still. It's a little washed out, but it's when you get a little bright. But other than that, now I've, I've been thinking like maybe you have to put more lighting around it to improve it. But overall, it just seems like the, the video of the Logitech and the, of the uh, broadcaster, especially when compared to the other webcam that the company already makes, it just seems a little bit more grainier and a little bit darker. Now, I actually like the smoothness of it. It seems pretty smooth when I was looking at the videos, when I was trying to do fast motions, like waving my hand real fast to see how it react it seemed to do a pretty good job in that realm but overall it's I, it I don't know I'm still it's definitely grainier and it's definitely darker than the others it does record it at seven at like it's true 16 by 9 so you are getting a wider shot I did try also to change the resolutions to lower resolutions and it did not brighten up the photo I mean brighten up the video and it did not improve the quality in any way what you get what you're seeing right now is what you get from the Logitech broadcaster so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the other one back to the other 720p camera and we're gonna go ahead and just finish this up so uh, the the Logitech broadcaster is a very interesting uh, device as the tech works well actually one last little thing before I get too much in tech the light itself is just like a little spotlight I didn't really see it make really a serious difference, especially for anything that's only a couple feet away. I didn't really notice how it made any difference at all. It's kind of cute, I guess. Look at me, hey. <laughs> so, it is a very good tech. As far as the Ustream, the overall recording, the, how it links to the computer, the apps and all that, it works extremely well. I, it just connects right the way it should and it just starts from doing, allowing you to record video. Um, the weight of it is not too much. The fact that they've included little, the mount as far as the stand and doubled it as the case to protect it is a very, very nice feature. Actually, I like that a lot. Very easy to protect it, very easy to throw it in the back of a bag and not worry about this being damaged along with the normal camera as you would with normal camera or other things that you would have in a bag. The um, As an extension to an iPhone or to an iPad, this could be definitely a pretty good option to, just to get video at a remote location. That way so you can sit there and film something over here while having the iPad here and yet 
be able to keep on moving forward or maybe if you're going to do game videos you could probably put the camera near the TV and in this way you could use the iPad to control and react to people while the camera is filming something at a different angle. It makes things a little bit better in that case. Um, same for the iPhone um, as well as the uh, any computer. So as a tech it works really well. I, the video is very dark, a little bit grainier than you get out of other lap of the camera so I can't say that the quality of the camera itself is going to be the main uh, reason to use something like this or to get this product but as far as the tech and what it's designed to do it does do a very good Okay, so my name is Sean Wilburn. Once again, this is for the site LazyTechGuys.com. Um, if you would like to get the full review, you're going to have to head over to our site. We're going to have a lot of te information there, including tech information, video game news, um, mobile news, and much, much more. We also have a whole host of podcasts, called, including the LTG show, the Lords of Gaming, and the Wireless Weekly. All three focus on three different deals, and um, depending on what your interests are. So, once again, thank you for uh, hanging out with me, listening to me describe this device. Jump over to our website to get the full rev written review. Um, and thank you for joining me, and have a great day.